So today I'm going to be reviewing the Trek Roscoe 7. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to be reviewing the Trek Roscoe 7. Just a little disclaimer, if you want to pick up this exact same bike for yourself, come to Bike World Kentucky Viduca. Great bikes here, they have a bunch inside. Uh, I did a review on the Trek EX Fuel earlier, but uh, we're just going to focus on this Roscoe 7. Uh, it's a fairly budget, kind of higher budget in uh, Hardtail mountain bike from Trek. Uh, it has a one by setup and it has rock shock suspension and it has hydraulic brakes. That's all that you're gonna want from a uh, budget mountain bike. Well, not a budget, but you know what I mean. Like a good mountain bike from Trek. That's all that you're gonna want. So let's just hop into a review. So let's kick things off with a drivetrain. This is a Shimano Dior drivetrain. I believe it is a 51 to a 12 to 10 teeth cassette. Uh, very, very good budget drivetrain for a hardtail mountain bike. Highly recommend the Dior setup. Uh, the cranks, I believe, are just Shimano Dior 12 speed uh, cranks, just standard cranks that came on the Dior drivetrain setup. And uh, these pedals are just crappy pedals that the bike shop had to put on there for me to ride it. And uh, coming over here, the rims are, uh, they are e E13, I think. Uh, I think that's how you say it. Uh, E13 rims, uh, E13 LH rims. Uh, from just feeling it, it feels really, really good. Uh, just riding this bike around the parking lot. It looks really, really sweet. Uh, and the tires on this bike we are running uh track bond tracker uh xr4 team series uh so team issue sorry uh pretty good tires in my opinion of course they do wear out very very fast uh there's a 2.6 in the front and i believe there's a 2.6 in the rear as well so that's good to see uh and you can mount a bottle cage to the bottom side of this frame that's good uh the fork on this bike is a RockShox Raycon. Uh, I think it has 140 mil of travel and it does have compression and rebound and your air uh, adjustment thing. So that's good to see. And uh, it does have a dropper post. I think that this is a, uh, I believe this is from Bond Tracker, just standard Bond Tracker dropper post. It's really, really slow. If I got this bike and I was, kind of like a pro i'll pro definitely upgrade this and it has a standard uh, bond tracker seat on here just like a base bond tracker seat N nothing too fancy but uh coming down here uh this bike is actually made for a trail so it's pretty pretty uh good angles and stuff like that looks really really good uh but over here we have the shimano brakes these are really really sweet as well i really really like these brakes compared to my uh mechanical disc brakes these are actually very very well very very good sorry uh we have 160 mil rotors in the front and 140 in the rear pretty good uh rotors in my opinion uh one thing that i don't like about the fork is that the rebound adjustment knob is very very crappy it's like plastic, flexible plastic, so that might break off over time. I mean, you'd have to get a replacement for that. This bike is running Boost, uh, Boost hubs, I believe. Uh, very, very good hubs. Uh, Shimano Boost hubs, pretty good hubs in my opinion. And also, these are not bolt-on rotors. They're just kind of, they're built into the hubs. Uh, I don't know how that works or whatever, but they're kind of built into the hubs. So uh, I kind of like that style, in my opinion, because the bolts on the rotors won't fall out. And we do have a Shimano Boost hub in the front as well. And this color, if you're wondering, uh, I think it's like metallic black or something, but uh, I really like this color. Uh, I test rode a Trek EX5 fuel uh, with this color, and this color is amazing. Uh, I'd highly recommend this color if you're looking into getting a mountain biking 
and also this bottom bracket is not uh tapered i don't think so well no, of course it's not because it's a one by but uh it has a very very sweet bottom bracket i believe this is from shimano looks really really sweet this bike is in a small so i will be able to ride it because i'm five six uh anyways guys i'll say we go ahead and give this bike a test ride Alrighty, everyone here we are on the trek roscoe 7 the good hardtail from trek very very fast we unfortunately will not be able to test these top speed on this bike because i do not have my speedometer with me right now but uh we will get to kind of feel around the bike this bike just riding it around the parking lot feels really really nice uh the worker at bike world kentucky so this bike feels like a full suspension bike but it's not it's a hardtail and uh i highly highly agree with him uh this bike feels like a full suspension just a little bit of that suspension in the rear and uh by the way as i mentioned earlier if you want to pick this bike up please go to bike world kentucky in paducah kentucky as well because they sell really really sweet bikes including this one you can pick up this one here so come over here to bike world paducah kentucky pick this up they are not paying me to do this review they're not uh paying me to say that at all i just really really like their service and i'm not lying at all they have uh probably the best service in all of tennessee in my opinion so come check out their bike shop and uh get some bikes from them but just riding this roscoe 7 around feels really really good uh the reason why i can't go fast right now is because uh i'm holding my camera with one hand and i'm riding with the other so that's why but this drop post honestly don't feel that bad i mean i thought it was gonna be really really slow stuff like that but this drop post actually is not that bad at all uh just going down going up it's pretty fast and going down it's actually decent too so the drop post really really sweet this fork just kind of feeling around of it uh feels really really sweet uh not the worst fork i mean wouldn't it be sick if they put like a fox 36 on this bad boy anyways guys uh i'm gonna get my tripod and we're gonna do some uh ground shots for you guys Very high, it's because the brakes on this thing are not that good. Well, for hydraulics, they are. Howdy, y'all. We're gonna do a hub sound check on this Trek Roscoe 7. Here it sounds.